Thinking of moving to Toronto, but not sure what type of home you want to live in? I'm Sandra Namato, and if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play in Toronto, make sure you tap the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And honestly, we get so many phone calls and emails and texts every single day from people moving here. We just love to help them. So even if you're thinking about moving anywhere in the Toronto or GTA area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us an email, or hit the Calendly link below to book an appointment. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when you're moving to Toronto. In this video, we'll see a few styles of homes that are available in the Toronto market. So let's get started. I've been in real estate for 15 years, so I know buying a home can be tough. Buying on your own, even tougher. Michelle's marriage just ended and her house is sold. This house was meant to be filled with a family. She wants a detached house but doesn't like what she sees. It's big and it's nasty. This is easier to change out than an ex-husband. She'll need some tough love and hand-holding to find happiness in a new home. These choices are mine and mine alone and I will bear whatever the consequences. We're not gonna let you make a mistake. She won't be doing it alone, but she will be doing it by herself. My name's Michelle and I'm 38 years old. I work in the training and development for our employees at a financial institution and was transferred here for work four years ago. I had a whirlwind romance, got married, bought this house and ended up in the suburbs. When my husband and I started looking for a place to live, it was going to have children in it and laughter and fun and family and all that has changed. The relationship ended about nine months ago. It's, it's a very sad feeling to be in this neighborhood. I, I do need a fresh start. Um, I can't do it in this house because this house was meant to be filled with a family. I need to move because the house is sold and uh, I definitely need to get out as soon as possible. And I'm ready to start my new adventure, reinvent myself and pick up the pieces. Michelle's been through a lot this past year, but the great thing is she's ready to move on. She sold her house, and I only have two months to find her a new place. I'm here to see if she needs a change in location and home size. How are you? Well, why don't you come in and see my house? What I really like about this is the open concept. Okay. I can see everything, and especially now that I'm starting my new adventure, I want to be able to have lots of people in. All right, we'll put that on your wish list, open concept. This is my kitchen. I can have a ton of people in here because I really like to cook. I noticed that there's no dining room here, so that's what you use. Yeah, it's like a breakfast nook. You sound really disappointed in that. My ex-husband and I, we didn't have people over, so we never used it. So are you saying you want a dining room? I would love to have a dining room where I can actually use plates and placemats and napkins. So let's put that on your wish list. A great dining room for entertaining. What are you looking for in a neighborhood? I'd like to live closer to work uh, as well as friends. So where do you want to live? A higher volume neighborhood with plenty of stores and restaurants for me to explore. You still want it to be slightly suburban, but not this. Exactly. Wow, this is a pretty big yard. You don't mow that lawn. I do mow that lawn. I would just get sheep. Let them graze. <laughs> do you want this kind of a backyard where you're going? Barbecuing 365 days a year. Year-round grilling, okay. Are you telling me you want a house then? Is that what you're looking for? You betcha. So this is the master bedroom. That is a king size bed, which is something that's important in finding a new home. But big bedrooms like this are not easy to come by. You know, if it comes down to it, and it's get a fabulous new place and start your new life, or hold on to that king size bed, what's it gonna be? Fabulous new life. Exactly! Hello. We have a winner! <laughs> Thanks, Sandra. <laughs> Michelle has a solid down payment of 70 grand and she's been approved for a mortgage of $230,000, making her budget 300,000 and her monthly mortgage about 1,100. 300,000 is about 50 grand below the average price on the outskirts of Toronto, so we'll look at houses, but I am going to have to prepare her for other options. Michelle, I asked you to bring two friends. Who have you brought? I brought my best friend, Nick, who's a small town girl like me, who wants me to make a really smooth transition from the house I'm in now. She needs a smaller version of what she's got now, a nice little house where she can start fresh. My fabulous friend, Glenn, who wants my new life to be completely maintenance-free. Michelle has spent enough time manicuring lawns and washing windows. I think it's time to be in a condo, sweetie. 
Well, these are two very opposing views. How are we going to marry these ideas? Starting new means starting new. I really don't understand why you're so st stuck on having her in a condo. I'm shocked that you're so stuck on having her in a house. Hey, you guys, wait, 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 wait a second. That's all good and fine, but let's hear what Michelle has to say about all of this. I don't really exactly know what I want. I just know I want it closer to, to people I know. So what I think we need to do is see a condo, see a small house in your price point, and then we'll decide where to go from there. How's that sound? Beautiful. Michelle's facing some pretty big choices right now, starting with house versus condo. I'll show her three great properties, and one of them will kickstart her brand new life. I searched for the best detached house I could find within Michelle's budget. It's in a mature neighborhood about 30 minutes closer to the city and Michelle's work than her current house. It's priced at $325,000, which is over her budget, but as I always say, that's just the asking price and maybe not the value. Michelle, you've got a front yard and a backyard, and there's plenty of room for a barbecue. You said the magic word, barbecue! So good! <laughs> Michelle's friend Anik wants her to buy a house, so she's coming along to size up this place. This is your dining room. This is where your pub table would go. Why is the dining room right off the front door? When you go to a mature area, sometimes the houses are a little bit more unique, the layouts especially. You did want to see a house. So, I'm here to help you see the way this house could be. Actually, you took curtains off. It's lovely. Now, this kitchen has been renovated Ooh. recently. Now, this is all right. It's good to go. I know you want an open concept, but it's an older home and it's definitely not open. But does this kitchen work for you? I can put a little bistro set in there. I could see the kitchen working. So this, this is actually okay. So this room gets two thumbs up. Definitely. Yeah. Perfect, there's more to see. Yeah. So far so good, but things may change. So here you go, here's your living room. Possibly not your dream living room yet. But it's bigger than what you'd get in a condo. It's big and it's nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give you that. The living room looks like it was an afterthought. Now, in your price point, this house may have some of the things on your wish list, but you just have to look hard for them. I would drywall, put some molding, reclaim these floors, and it would be really, really cute. You're not buying it. Okay. <laughs> and here's your bathroom. It is a bathroom, and I was kind of expecting an outhouse. <laughs> well, there you go. It surpasses your expectations. You okay? Um. I didn't know there would be ladders to climb. <laughs> this used to be the attic. They made it into the master bedroom. It's big enough for a king size bed. Is that the ensuite? Ensuite in a hundred year old house, I don't think so. I can't imagine going up and down and up and down that ladder just to go to the bathroom. In the middle of the night, I'm gonna fall down. I know I wanted you to see a house, and I know this is not what you were expecting, and that's why Sandra's here to help us. <laughs> if I could have found a better option for you, I would have shown it to you. This house is a practical and affordable downsizing option if Michelle could just see past the decor. It's listed $25,000 under the average house price for the area, but it's still above Michelle's budget. Even at $325,000, the monthly carrying cost would be only $1,454. All right, so we were still debating that whole condo versus house thing. What are you thinking? I've been really comfortable living in a house, and this is like no other house I've ever seen before. Trying to show you homes and trying to keep you away from the life that you want to leave behind, this is what you're going to find, another version of this. I do want to be in an, an area that has a lot of stuff going on, um, but if this is the type of house that's available, it, it, it makes me crazy just to think about what I would have to do to make it livable. I'm having to wrap my brain around something that's in my price range, that's not in the suburbs, that obviously will need some updating. Well, that house didn't go over very well. I'm gonna show Michelle how a condo can meet her expectations. She has to think about what lifestyle she really wants, and Michelle's never had to do that for herself before. Coming up, Michelle lights up when I show her a big condo. This is enormous. And breaks down as she deals with the pain of her old life. I just wanna be happy. My client Michelle has sold her house after a failed marriage and she has two months to find a home and start her new life. Michelle wants a house, but what she can afford won't give her the location and decor she's hoping for. So it's time for plan B. I'm showing Michelle a condo in the suburbs because it's close to work and big on space. This condo has an open concept entertaining space that I know Michelle will love. The rooms are spacious and airy, making it feel more like a house than a condo. 
Michelle's friend Glenn thinks she needs a maintenance-free lifestyle, so I think he'll approve of this condo. Let's check this one out. Wow. So this is wow. a nice open concept. Huge. This is enormous. My uh, pub size, a big square dining table will definitely fit in here. You'll have your pub table here, and then you could have two sideboards if you want to, or a karaoke machine. <laughs> and a dance floor. <laughs> But look at the light, Michelle. It the light is, is fantastic. Good. What way is this facing? It's facing that way. <laughs> Just kidding, it's facing south. South, so that's really good light in here all day long. It's a good thing and a bad thing. And as a woman on your own, you want to make sure that your expenses are in line. So in the winter, you'll get some heat from the sun, but in the summer, to save on air conditioning, close the drapes, save money on your electricity bill, and you also do your part for the environment. Check out the kitchen! I don't like the countertops. It's exactly what I have now. Is that why you don't like it? Yes. You want to get rid of it? Because it's what I have now. This is easier to change out than an ex-husband. <laughs> it's time to move on, and I think a new space is going to really help her with that. This would be an easy fix for Michelle, and the cost to change the counters to a different style laminate would be under 500 bucks. Well, let's check out the balcony. You wanted outdoor space. Yes, I did, and that's a pretty good size. The only thing I couldn't get for you is being able to barbecue on the balcony. Oh, you, you can't be serious. Michelle, all of this with... It's a barbecue, honey. The only thing I could suggest for people who really want to barbecue and live in a condo and there's nothing, no other option, get an electric grill. I'd have to try it out to see if that would even work for me. I need Michelle to see past the barbecue to the big picture. This condo feels like a house, and that's very uncommon. This is the master bedroom. What I want to draw your attention to are these windows. You're used to living in a house. This is not typical in a condo. Two big windows in the master on the second floor. This feels like a house. To have this is really extraordinary. It's basically as big as the space as she's in today, and that's unheard of. I, I've, I've never seen a condo this big. Now, you wanted room for your king-size bed. There is room for a king-size bed. And then some. And then some. <laughs> I didn't know if I would like carpet in the bedroom. Does it make it soundproof? That's actually a smart question. It is condo rule and regulation that you must have a soundproofing barrier so that you don't disturb neighbors. And that's good because you do have someone above you, so it's nice to know. I showed Michelle this property because it's over 1,200 square feet in a good neighborhood and it's close to work. This condo is $289.9 with the maintenance fees. The monthly total of 1840 is more than the detached house we looked at. But unlike the house, this condo's move-in ready. I think that makes it perfect for Michelle. This is a really easy transition for you coming from a house into a condo. It's very house-like. So you're not going to have that ugh, culture shock of going into, you know, a real high-rise and taking elevators and never being able to open your windows. What do you think? It's got the, the big open space, but I still feel like it's um, a home. It's making me realize I'm making choices based on what I want and what I feel, as opposed to having to share it with somebody that I ne didn't necessarily agree with, um, but did it for love, and now I'm doing it for myself. And that is for love. And that's love of myself, yeah. You have to rejoice in the fact that you are taking a giant leap forward towards your real life, towards the real you, towards your happiness. And that's what I want right now, is just happiness. These choices are mine and mine alone, and I will bear whatever the consequences are. We're not gonna let you make a mistake. No way. Oh my God, it's we're having you now. You don't wanna get makeup on your collar. <laughs> I'm finding the hardest part is to leave the comfort of what I know and venture into a life that I don't know much about yet, but willing to try. Michelle seems very emotional about this whole ordeal. And as her broker, it's my job to make sure that when she does buy, she's thinking with a clear head. Coming up, Michelle sees a beautiful balcony. I really love this. I'm sensing I struck gold here. But loses sight of her goal. Obviously a baby's room. She's still stuck at where she had the husband and hoping for the 2.5 kids. My client Michelle is on an emotional journey from a failed marriage to a new life. Her house is sold and she needs to move fast to find a new home. We saw a bungalow, but Michelle doesn't think she can handle the outdated decor. We saw a large condo, but there are no barbecues allowed. I think that in Michelle's price range, a condo's the way to go. I'm showing Michelle a cute little condo that's close to work and friends. It's a short walk to shops, 
restaurants, a movie theater, and public transit. I'm showing Michelle this condo because it feels like a house, with its front door opening right onto the street. The list price is $297,000. Michelle's friend Anik is joining us for this tour. Come on in. What do you think of the open concept? Open concept is great, but holy Hannah, this is tiny. My dining room table ain't gonna fit in there, uh-uh. If you were to put a couch here and a couch there and had your big dining room table there so you could entertain, your friends could be here, and maybe just a little bistro set or an office in there. Ah, I actually didn't think about that. Well, uh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra. Where's the kitchen? You can touch everything in this kitchen just by spinning around. It is tight in here, but something you need to understand is you are coming to a location that is close to the big city. So when you compare prices from where you are now to here, you're gonna get less square footage. Michelle, look, look how well the black matches the countertops. I do love the countertops. They are actually granite. Here's the master. This is not gonna fit my king size bed. Had I listed this place, this furniture would have been gone because buyers like you cannot see the space when there's big pieces of furniture in the way. You can get your king size bed in here. Yes, fine, maybe you can fit a king size bed in there, but that's it. And here's the second bedroom. Oh, it's obviously a baby's room. Yeah. <laughs> it made me sad to see a crib in there. She's still stuck where she had the husband and hoping for the white picket fence and all of that and the 2.5 kids. Can I ask what that is? You certainly can, and I'm going to take you there and show you. Oh! Oh my God, is that a barbecue? A barbecue! Barbecue city, I love it. I'm sensing I struck gold here. You struck the big one. So the idea of a condo is really appealing. No lawn maintenance, for instance, but this condo is feeling really tight. So that's something I'd have to get used to should I choose a condo. This condo could be a great investment for Michelle because a location will always be in high demand. It may be on the small side, but barbecuing is allowed. It's 20 minutes closer to work than the first two places, yet it would carry for only $16.69 per month. So tell me how you feel about this place. The fact that I don't have to maintain anything is really a plus for me right now. So this is working for you, that's great. Is there anything that you have concerns about? I still have a concern about the galley kitchen, but I think I'm gonna have to work with it. I just feel this sort of desperation. I've already started packing, anticipating a place. Um, I'm kind of in a, in a tight space to find something now. I'm in a hurry. I feel like I'm in a hurry just to find something now, and it's good enough. Michelle seems very willing to compromise on things that aren't perfect. I am worried that she might settle because she feels desperate. I need to make sure that she keeps her eye on the prize. Here's a look at the three homes I've shown Michelle. The detached house has a big yard and a comfortable kitchen that's been freshly renovated. The big condo has a great open concept entertaining area and a master bedroom Michelle loves. The condo with the barbecue is move-in ready and is in a high demand location. I don't think Michelle should buy a house anymore. I think she should buy the condo that had the balcony with the barbecue. It's a great location and it's close to my house. I think Michelle should buy the big condo. It's just like a house. I mean, she gets the best of both worlds. I think it's a fantastic place to start her new life. Michelle, we've been really quite through the gamut on this home search and I want to know how you're feeling. I'm really confused about this whole ordeal, actually. Um, you've shown me three different properties and it's like, do I pick this one? Do I pick that one? What do I really want out of it? And I'm trying to remember that this is what I want and this is what I need to do. And where do I fit in? I'm, I'm troubled. It makes sense to me that you would be troubled because you are recreating yourself. So trying to project your new lifestyle onto a property, it's very difficult because you don't know yet. You haven't lived it yet. Most people would probably agree that comfort zones are comfortable for a reason because it's what you know. It's how you've always dealt with things. So let's work together on trying to focus in on what really does matter to you. I just want to feel like myself, finally. I want to discover who I am, and I want it to be in a place that feels like home. Coming up, Michelle's ready to make a move. Yeah, there's one that stands out. But where will she land? Sandra, you don't look happy. My client Michelle is picking up the pieces after her marriage fell apart nine months ago. I've shown her three great homes in vibrant social neighborhoods where she can embrace her new single life. The detached bungalow with the renovated kitchen, the big condo with the open concept area for entertaining, 
and a condo closer to downtown that allows barbecuing on the balcony. Michelle needs to make a move, but which direction will she go? This is your chance to make a big decision for yourself. I can definitely tell you that the house is, is going to have to be out of the burning. This just seems like way too much for me, and I'm really leaning towards the condo now. So we've decided condo life is the new life for Michelle. And if I really listen to myself, yeah, there's one that stands out. Tell me, which property are we going to move forward on? I would love to have the big condo. I knew it. <laughs> I think that's the right one for you. The space. The space for me uh, outweighs everything, and it's a nice transition. You are going to have to give up your barbecue, though. Closer to friends. So tell me, are you confident enough now to go forward with an offer? Yeah, I'm ready right now. Let's go do it. The sellers are asking for a long closing, but since Michelle has sold her house, I don't want to see her homeless. So I'm making an offer close to the asking price at two eighty eight five, dollars with a condition that they give us a faster closing. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I think you will. I need to move. That's all I know. There she is. There, there she is. is. Hey. hey. Guy's been waiting a long time. Sandra, you don't look happy. Do you want to know why? I mean, can you believe it? Our house hunting days have come to an end. You bought the condo! No, no, no. <laughs> you got that gorgeous, huge condo that feels like a house. I am so proud of you, Michelle. You can start your new life. I love low maintenance. I think it's a happy marriage of what everyone wanted. But we'll see what I wanted. <laughs> I can't wait to unpack my boxes. It's going to be like Christmas unpacking redecorating, buying myself the things I want to make it my home. I'm just really excited. I can't wait. This house hunting journey actually helped Michelle heal after her divorce. All the changes she decided to take on allowed her to recreate who she is. She landed in a happy place, but the best part is she did it all by herself. So living without the barbecue uh, was heart-wrenching, um, but I also know I'm closer to friends. Just because I wanted it doesn't mean I was absolutely going to have it. So compromises aren't necessarily a bad thing. She really showed me that. And I'm very excited to, to start this new journey my way. For more information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca. If you're getting ready to move in or around Toronto, please reach out to me with the information in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. See ya!